Hello everyone and welcome back to Killer Shrew Fans Killer Toy Reviews. We have got yet another review coming your way today and in keeping with what we've been doing it is of course going to be yet another Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy review and we're actually really excited for it today because it is going to be our first Battle Damage Walmart exclusive dinosaur review and that is of course this uh, <laughs> Battle Damage Stiggy Moloch, aka Stiggy, and we're really excited to take a look at this model for a variety of reasons. One of which being the fact that it is the very first Stiggy Moloch to ever be featured in Jurassic or Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, uh, film, toy line, etc. Um, and um, we can't wait to look at it, mostly because it's such a cool dinosaur and I'm very excited to see them. This will be one of the new species that they're introducing to the franchise. We don't know what role it's going to play, but it has the nickname Stiggy. So that kind of has us thinking maybe it's going to be a character dinosaur similar to what Blue is. Well, maybe not thinking, but kind of hoping. I mean, dinosaurs like this have gotten nicknames in the past. I mean, Rexy has the nickname Rexy, but she's not really like a character buddy cop like Blue is. But here we are going to give you a closer look at this dinosaur, starting off with the packaging. So in the top left corner, you have got the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom logo. No Fallen Kingdom, but it is nice and cracked up to show that the kingdom has fallen. If we move down the side, you've got the bars of the cage, keeping with the theme of removing the dinosaurs from the park. And there at the bottom left corner, you have got Owen and Blue, the heroes of the film. If we move across the bottom, you can see the Stiggy Moloch Stiggy logo with a 3 plus years warning, which I qualify for. And this is, of course, part of the Battle Damage exclusive Walmart collection. Moving up the side, you can see the uh, forest of Isla Nublar silhouetted against the eruption of Mount Saibo. Absolutely beautiful packaging art. Same thing that we've seen on everything else, pretty much. But it is it stands to be praised each time because it is just so eye-catching and um, stand out on the shelf. And there you've got the button indicating the action feature and the logo again. On the back, you've got a lovely uh, sort of 3D version of the dinosaur. Uh, kind of pasted onto the back of the box demonstrating the various action features and if we move down the side you once again have the Jurassic World logo activate battle damage um, sign there and shows you a diagram of how it's supposed to work this dinosaur's main gimmick and there you can get a better look at the beautiful rendition of Stiggy there up in the top or yeah, right corner, you've got a Jurassic World uh, fax app reminder, which is the app launched with the toy line. And in the bottom left corner, you can see all of the other dinosaurs available in the Wave 1 in this size range of the Battle Damage Dinosaurs from Walmart. You've got the Blue, a Triceratops, a Pachycephalosaurus, and a Herrerasaurus. Alright, that is it for the overall look of the packaging. And now I think it's time that we bust this Stiggy Moloch out of the box. Now, unlike with a lot of what Mattel has given us, this one can go back in this uh, box once you um, are done with it. Um, this, see, I mean, you do have the usual sort of uh, plastic uh, clothes uh, tag thing, um, kind of keeping it in there, but you've also got a plastic band around the neck. Um, and then when you look at the uh, bottom part, at the foot, yes, that's the tag there, but the tail is attached. That's the, that's the kicker here. The tail is attached, so you'll have to cut that, but this plastic band can be put back in, and then there's a rubber band holding in the foot, and that, of course, can be reattached in order to refasten the Stiggy Moloch in. So not all hope is lost. You do have to cut that one. These two can be replaced. So this guy could go back in the box feasibly. So we're going to go ahead and uh, break him or her out of the box and go from there. are the two elements of the packaging. You've kind of got the exoskeleton cage part there, and as you can see, that slides right off, revealing the um, Mount Saibo eruption. And, you know, this could actually be used as kind of like a diorama, almost, like a, an, an image captured from the film. You've got 
the um, dinosaur kind of silhouetted there against the eruption of Mount Saibo, and it looks really cool. So props to Mattel for giving you this option um, of display. But without further ado, we are going to sever these ties here and break this dinosaur out of the packaging. All right, so there is Stiggy, finally free of that cardboard prison, and as you can see, this is just an adorable little model. Um, really great size for this species, and you know, I mean, looking at it, first impressions, it's eye-catching. It seems properly proportioned, the feet don't look too big, the paint scheme is nicely done, Everything about this model is just a hit upon first looks. I mean, I saw it on the shelf and it was love at first sight. But if we take a closer look at the head here, you can see all of the detail that Mattel crammed into that base sculpture with scales and textures and wrinkles, small horns and scoots and ridges across the eyebrow leading up to the nasal horn and then on the cheek and then of course to the back of the skull you have got the more prominent horns. If we take a look, kind of at that eye there. The eye is incredibly lifelike. It has a nice gloss to it to give it a sheen. And if we move the head up, you can see all of the textures and um, sort of scratches that have been carved into that uh, huge cranial um, boss there um, over time. The other side, very similar story with the eye and the lovely amount of details in the horn uh, department. Even the beak has been textured slightly. The horns on the back of the head are pretty smooth, but I can forgive so that. So if we move down the length of this creature's body, as you can see, the wrinklage um, continues down the neck and to the midsection. You have got some sort of dorsal spikes that protrude starting at the base of the neck and moving all the way to the back of the body. There you can see the carve out for the dino damage piece. And if you push on that little nipple there, it does snap down, revealing a sort of crayon red, vibrant dino damage wound. I'm not a huge fan of how they colored this particular area, but then again, um, I've never been kind of a huge fan of the dino damage. I get that it's a staple, um, but then again, you can just kind of cover it right up, not have to worry about it, and then if you want, you can just pop it right back down using, and it's built on this sort of cylinder kind of thing that rotates instead of just sliding away to reveal it. And overall, I think this is engineered much better than what Hasbro did. It's kind of similar, but yeah, this is a cylinder that rotates down. Hasbro's was a trap door that kind of slid away to reveal the wound. And it was much more clanky, much louder, much more obnoxious. My big issue with this is that I don't like looking at that carve out or the big sort of tumorous growth on the side of the dinosaur that is meant to catch the sliding piece to keep it from sliding and never being retrieved again. Um, it's just kind of an eyesore on the overall aesthetic of this dinosaur. But you know, um, I say that, um, but then there's always um, option B, which is of course just picking uh, the Stiggy Moloch up and uh, turning it around to the other side. And the um, best part of this is there's no screw holes to um, muddy up this side. It's a perfectly clean side. No screw holes. Oh, it's so great. I love that side. But yeah, anywho, um, moving back to our review here, if we take a look at the uh, feet, as I said before, they are very well proportioned to the rest of the um, body. They don't seem too big. They're not too small. Um, the nails are painted a nice gray color, and if we move up the side, you've got some lovely sculpted anatomy in the ankle and the calf. The thigh is a nice shape. You don't really get a good sense of the musculature in the thigh, but it is nicely shaped and well proportioned. If we move all the way down the length of the tail, you can see the seam line there. Not really sure why it has to be there. The tail is a softer plastic, so maybe it was molded separately and then connected. Wish it was all just one piece, but the wrinklage does continue all the way down to the tip of the tail, and we lost focus. Anywho, moving up the other side, you have got the same story. Wrinkling texture, nice um, sized thigh, no dino damage on this side. Glad to have that option and the wrinklage continues all the way up to the head of the Stiggy Moloch. And like I said, this head is awesome. 
The arms are pretty small on this model, but that didn't stop Mattel from cramming some lovely sculpted musculature into it. The forearm looks nice, the shoulder's nice, the bicep is nice, they're all proportion. Finger claws are not painted, one of my gripes with Mattel, I wish they would go the extra mile and do that for us. But um, the thing about this model that sets it apart from the attack pack they're very similar in size. I mean, obviously, you have got the main gimmick, the dino damage there, which is the big selling point for these models. But unlike the attack pack, these dinosaurs feature much more um, articulation. You can move the head up and down. You can rotate it to the um, side, and then you can turn it to the other side. You can turn it almost 360. I'm not feeling a lot of resistance there, so you probably could manage to do it, but I really hate doing that, so I'm not going to do that for you, and I do not recommend that you do it either. But just look at that. Look at how much character is in that one pose. It's as if this Stiggy Moloch was heading down to the river to get a drink and then it heard a sound so it snapped its head to look in the direction. I mean, it's just so fluid, so lifelike. It really captures a moment and that's what I love about these uh, models. The arms can rotate in, out, up, down, back, forth, any which way you want them to. Both sides, same story, not really hindered in any way either. The legs don't feature much articulation. They can kind of go out a little forward, a little back, but that's really it. I don't know why, but um, on the underside of the feet there, you can see the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom logo. And then on the other side, you have got the um, QR code that you scan into your phone to unlock the app with. So if you want to scan that into your phone, now is your chance. But yes, I, I, I do like these more than the attack pack simply because of all the posing options that they offer. And if we turn to the side, you don't get that dino damage wound interrupting it. It just looks so lifelike, so incredibly realistic and as if it is capturing a still image of the life of this Stiggy Moloch and I think that is just so incredible. Mattel really did a good job on these. Now as far as the overall color scheme on the Stiggy Moloch, it is fairly intricate. Um, it does feature about five different colors, not including the battle damage dino. You've got the purple striping that does continue not all the way to the tip of the tail, but tapers out in a nice naturalistic fashion. You've got this sort of beige color on the underbelly and that carries up onto the back of the legs. And then the uh, horns and beak are a nice gray. The dome is spray painted a nice white. And then you have got the orange base of the mold itself. And like I said, the inside features that red vibrant crayon color of the Dino Damage. Not a huge fan, but I can just cover that up and uh, it goes right away. So yes, um, much more intricately colored than the Attack Pack Dinos, it would seem. And that's just another way that I would put these Dinos, these Battle Damage versions, above those. And for two bucks more, I'd say it's worth it. Now, as far as the size goes, this is a fairly small species of dinosaurs and this toy reflects that very well. But in terms of actual length, you're looking at right around seven and a half inches long, which is about 18 and a half centimeters. And then if you, oops, there he goes. If we measure from the base all the way to the highest point, you're looking at right around three and a half inches off the ground, which is about nine and a half centimeters. So overall, not a bad size for a small dinosaur figure. Now for a quick size comparison, we're going to go ahead and bring in the original Series 2 uh, Pachycephalosaurus from Kenner. And overall, I've just never been a fan of this particular dinosaur model. I mean, the way that it is constructed, it has this sort of like barrel chest and these, its arms look as if it's flexing like, come at me, bro. Yeah, no, I'm not a huge fan of this model. And I don't really think these two are play compatible. But I can see kids all the same lowering the Stiggy's head and then doing this thing and just kind of bumping them into each other. And yeah, if you have a kid, there's going to be absolutely no paint left on that Stiggy Dome. They're just going to run it into everything. And oh, just doing that hurts me as a collector. Are you okay? Yeah, you're okay. Oh, boy. And next up for size comparison, we're going to bring in our current favorite from the Jurassic World toy line. And that is, of course... Oh, this guy, it's Carnage the Carnotaurus, our good friend. And as, oops, there goes the Stiggy Moloch, and Carnage isn't going to stand either. Okay, we're doing great. But as you can see, the Carnotaurus just towers over the Stiggy Moloch here. Um, and apparently these are supposed to be in scale, so I think the Stiggy Moloch might be in trouble. He makes a good snack for Carnage. <laughs> 
Well, everyone, that is going to do it for our look at the Walmart exclusive Battle Damage Stiggy Moloch, aka Stiggy. Overall, this model is fantastic for a smaller offering from Mattel. It's got a wide range of colors, great posability, lovely sculptural details, and... <laughs> Yeah, that, that really makes it okay in my book. Overall, I'd say it's better than the attack pack dinosaurs given its wider range of posing options and its more intricate paint job. And for two bucks more, I would definitely say it is worth it. Obviously, I can't do the whole Who Done It Better, Kenner or Mattel, so I'll just give the overall rating of an eight out of 10. And if I am right, I think this mod about this whole dinosaur being a character thing, this model will be incredibly popular. Just like how every kid and a collector wanted a blue after Jurassic World, every kid and collector will want a Stiggy if Stiggy turns out to be a character. As always, I would love to hear what you guys think of this model. Do you own it yet? Are you going to go to your local Walmart and try to find it now? What's your favorite of the Battle Damage lineup? Um, do you prefer Battle Damage Attack Pack? What do you think of the whole new Battle Damage system? What do you think of Stiggy being an actual character in the franchise? Let me know all of your thoughts on it down in the comments section below. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Your support means the world to me. And if you enjoyed today's look, don't be afraid to let us know by leaving a like. And don't forget to subscribe on the way out. That's going to do it for us today. Killer Shrew Fan, signing out. Bye-bye.